So what are, what are we doing now? Making a fruit platter uh, because tonight's supposed to be really active meteor shower. <laughs> Testing the product already. Um, ooh. Look at high after on <laughs> So we are making a fruit platter right now. Probably can't tell the time behind show. It's, it's 11.08. And we are staying up tonight and we're gonna bring you with us. We're going to go and try to watch the meteor shower from our house. Um, it says that New England can see it tonight. So we're cutting up some um, melon down here and we have Right here, I have some yogurt. Um, it's plain yogurt, Greek, like full fat, and I just added some honey to it. And I have mango, apple, orange, and some strawberries. So we're gonna make like a little late night. Fruit platter. Fruit platter, couldn't think of the word. Fruit platter, have a little snack to stay up before we go and watch the meteor shower. How many do you think that we can see, did it say? Like a hundred per hour, so. Did you not clean the lip? Oh, it's still there. <laughs> I was saving that for the meteor shower. An hour and a half from now. So, 100 per hour. <laughs> Two every minute and change, I think. I'm um, not a mathematician, so. So, we have a little honey yogurt dip. I'm trying to use what we have here. A little mango, a little cantaloupe, orange, strawberries. So, we're going to bring you along with us while we make our little late night snack and then we'll bring you along when we try to go outside and see some meteor showers. See some meteor showers? Or is it see a meteor shower? See a meteor shower. But we've already tested the yogurt, as you could tell. Joe's I, beard. Okay, that makes it seem like I'm some sneaking fatty. So one dog is currently still sleeping in the bed and then we have one down here that is not helping. Right here. Not helping. We'll show you our finished fruit plate once we're done. What do we have going on so far? Apple, strawberry, now I'm doing mango. I told them what we were doing from the beginning. Well, then what, what was the question? What do we have left today? No, no, you said, what do we got going on right now? So play the tape back. What do we have going on so far? I have our platters currently in the dishwasher, so we're using like an old Pyrex container, but I think it looks cute. Gets the job done. Just have a couple of strawberries left and then the platter is complete. Got us some forks and we can just like dip it in right here. I wish I had the um, wooden sticks. That would be cute. We don't have any? No. Do you hear that? Yeah. Our, our senior our dog senior just is... threw herself out of the bed. Oh, look at you. Welcome. She saw the fresh fruit and decided to join us. So here you can see the cantaloupe, strawberry, apple, and then just a little bit of, of uh, mango in the middle there. I don't think we needed more than one. No, it's plenty of fruit. Try it, try it out. Try it, try it out. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> it's a cantaloupe, right? Do you try it? Mm-hmm. Oh, in the kitchen? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're just watching some TV before we go and see the meteor shower. Yogurt dip's good. Mm. Try the cantaloupe. I don't know why I'm doing it. dipping it so slow. Mm-hmm. Like... Mm-hmm. Mm. I wish we had a cream cheese fruit dip. Like this is a healthy option. Definitely tastes healthy. It really does. I'll put them. I think it was the strawberry. The best so far. You try mango yet? No. The yogurt and the mango is really good. You gotta try. We have our senior right here. I don't get how these people do it though. Like, what will we do with our canoe? What will we do with our paddle boards? Do you put cameras outside to protect you? You know, I don't understand how it works. She uses a composting toilet. It says composting toilet. Where are you getting that soil from? Nature. Well, which one do you want? Because here's the playlist. How to say bunny, which we did. Comparing RVs. Safety and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. 
We're trying, we were watching before we decided to make this fruit platter, RV videos to see how other people do it. We've never been RVing. We've never done like hardcore camping. You saw our video on glamping, which was our first time. We want to be able to see more of the US than we have. And how do we do that and then we don't know anything about it. Our anniversary is coming up this year but we have a 10 year anniversary coming next year. We we're thinking that maybe we would want a road trip or you know do something international or whatever and I threw out the idea today like maybe we should just like get like a camper or something that we can rent and like drive all over and like see things you know for a week for our anniversary next year because this year's already spoken for we're gonna bring you guys with us so we're doing a little research and it's eye open we're learning about composting toilets bad drinking water hookups and stuff like that so we're just kind of learning so we've been we're doing that and <clears throat> must have worked up an appetite omakase for thirty dollars well they're in thailand that's why Mm, I would love to go. Me too. But I think we honestly, I think we would need a, like a like a tour, a, a, um, a guide. A guide, yeah. Is that how it works for omakase? They cut your fish prior and put it to the side. Oh, I love when they start those things like a palate cleansing. Mm. Snow crab and catlin row. I don't know what that is. Can you Google that? What is that? It's in the smelt family, so it's like hooligan or whatever. Oh, okay. We like to watch other people like eating and going to places like we've never been to get ideas. So right now we're watching a couple that are having omakase in Thailand. Joe and I have never been to, to Thailand. We really, really want to go to Singapore. It's re like a really, really far plane ride for us. So we kind of like live vicariously through some of these other people. Was that fish or was that scallop? Oh, I love that it's in the um, seaweed. In the hand roll. It's a lot for one bite. That was a big scallop. So we have a little leftover fruit. Sit. Okay. I guess we don't have to work for our food anymore. Well, I'll give him one and one. Okay, paw. Cut the other paw. Double. Oh, Can you lay down? Double. Mm. Hey, Paul. Oh, here's first. No sneak attack. Hey, mommy. She doesn't have to work for it. Because she's old. She just gets anything she wants at this point. One more. Mm, delicious. Thinking he can get another one. We're outside. It's after midnight. Um, we're underneath the street light, but we're going to be all the way over there. Can't see it can't see it but that's where we're gonna be sitting so we have good skies doesn't look like there's too many clouds we're gonna get the website says that you should get your eyes to adjust to the light we don't have any other like light competing and then joe will put the name of this meteor shower that we're watching on the screen right here he also put us um some camping chairs so we can sit down we've done this before in yes when it's been freezing and I've had to like sit on top of them because we didn't think to put chairs outside. Okay, we'll let you know. How's it going? Okay. Do you see anything? No. I see nothing. They said how many per minute? A hundred. Liars. All right, we'll check in again. I saw one. It was very fast and bright white. It was so cool all right joe needs to see one okay you saw one right yes what'd you think it was amazing yours went slow though yeah mine was not like i said i saw it and it was still like visible while i was talking so like it wasn't like was it bright white yes okay but sometimes they're just for those of you out there she's asking because sometimes we've seen them red green blue so right now they're white it looks like what did we see saw so, uh, I think combined like 16 shooting stars. Um, so it was pretty cool. It was so nice to be with you. Our necks uh, are yeah, burning. I like how we saw like a really special event. We're like, my neck. <laughs> so, but no, it was great. I kind of like laughed. It said that you should have your eyes like adjust for the first 30 minutes. And 
Like, your eyes definitely do need some time to adjust. Yeah, they really open up. But for the first, like, five, we didn't see the same shooting stars, so we each saw different ones. And then towards the end, we started seeing the same ones because they were, like, bigger and brighter. Um, so we've been out here for about an hour and 15 minutes. Now we're ready for bed. Yes. So, so thanks for coming along with us as we watch this video shower. All right, we're going to bed. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Thank you.